hello, 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 and welcome or welcome back to African Closa A S M R. So today's video is a requested video since it is the month of October it's Halloween season so a lot of people suggested that I do a video whereby I talk about um, South African closer superstitions or urban legends and that's exactly what I will be talking about in today's video so just sit back relax but I'm not sure if you're gonna get scared but hopefully you will get scared um, without further ado let's get started first one is that um Kosa fairy tales or like fictional stories are called Intomi and it is believed that you are not allowed to listen to Intomi during daytime that is because if you listen to Intomi during daytime you will grow horns and nobody wants to grow horns so you're not allowed to listen to insomi during daytime you're only allowed to listen to insomi at night but if it is necessary for you to listen to that insomi during daytime it is compulsory that you say mbondo puma punga puma mbondo puma Punga puma bondo puma punga puma repeatedly um, before someone starts telling you that story. That is um, the meaning of that is the horns should grow on the ground and not on your forehead. The horns should grow on the ground and not on your forehead because if you don't say that, boop, you're going to grow horns. So that's the first one. Um, the second one is that um, when you are a kid and someone jumps over your head maybe you're playing outside with your sibling and then they jump over your head it is believed that you're going to experience stunted growth I mean you are going to grow um, like in terms of appearance but you're not going to grow in terms of height you're going to remain the same size so in order to prevent that from happening if someone jumped over your head they have to once again jump over your head in order to reverse that effect of stunted growth so that's what was believed and as little kids if you your sibling was naughty they would jump over your head and tell you that you are not going to grow and you would be busy crying oh my gosh i'm not going to grow i'm not going to grow and then you go report that to your parent and then par the parent would say jump over them again so that you can grow so that's the second superstition i'm sorry about my voice it sometimes goes up it sometimes goes down but I'm going to try to control it because I have to control it when I make these videos. But sometimes I just forget and it goes up. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, now let's move on to the third one. Um, when I watch American movies, I see that um, they believe in the tooth fairy whereby the kid has to pe put their teeth underneath a pillow and then a tooth fairy with wings would come at night and replace the teeth with money in our culture that is not the case it is believed that if your teeth falls out or comes out you need to go outside and throw it 
on top of the roof of your house and when you do that a bird will come when it's flying over your house it's going to see the teeth and then it's going to take it and put it in a tooth warehouse whereby it will replace it with a new one and then the new one is going to grow and if your teeth does not land on top of the roof that means you're not gonna grow any more teeth it's out and it's out so you're not gonna grow any new teeth so you had to make sure that it does fall on top of the roof otherwise you would be standing there the entire day trying to throw the teeth trying to throw it and trying to throw it and trying to throw it and when it lands you'd be like yes yes get so excited because you are going to get new teeth because the bird is going to come and collect it and give you a new pair okay um the other one speaking of birds it is believed that if you you know you cut your hair you cannot just dispose dispose your hair anyhow you need to make sure that you take your hair and you light up a matches and then you burn your hair or you dispose it a toilet but you are not allowed to just dispose it outside anyhow because a bird might fly by and eat your hair and once a bird or any animal for that matter feeds on your hair then you're gonna go crazy you're going to lose your mind so even till this day our elders make sure that they burn their hair because they don't want to go crazy so it's also believed i don't know how true that one is but our elders strongly believe in that one they're like "Mm -mm, burn that hair burn it burn it now burn it Um, okay Uh, the next one is eating on a pot i know sometimes you know when you're eating the leftovers and you don't have a microwave you use the pot you know to warm your leftovers but it is believed that if you do not take the food outside of the pot into a plate and eat from a plate that means you are going to have a rainy wedding day it's going to rain on your wedding day and i'm sure everybody wants to have great weather on their wedding day want it to be sunny but if you eat from a pot unfortunately it's going to rain on your wedding day and also it is believed that if it's raining and you're having a ceremony of any kind also a wedding the owner of that ceremony or the person that ceremony is for needs to go outside with a pot and collect mud and put that mud on a pot and go back inside the house and cook mud and then the rain is going to stop raining which is weird but people believe that and some people said it works for them whenever they're having a ceremony and then it starts raining they cook mud and then the rain goes away and that's very weird um the other one is that um if someone is sweeping inside the house or sweeping anyway you're not allowed to 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 uh, to stand in front of them because if you stand in front of them and then they sweep towards you that means you are going to remain a spinster for the rest of your life you are not going to get married you're just gonna be alone for the rest of your life so if you don't want to get married you can just let them sweep on you it's okay and if you would like to be a spinster you can just let them sweep on your feet but if you have plans on getting married or you don't want to be a spinster then whenever someone is sweeping you stand on the side so that you won't don't become a spinster or spinster or you get married one day so we also believe that as well um the other one um the bread in our culture 
um, people sometimes bake bread themselves they don't buy store-bought bread we make our own bread from our own houses and this uh, bread is called umbago umbago that means baked bread so from the house not the store-bought one so it is believed that if you bake umbago and then you go to sleep the witches will come at night and take that bread and make it bigger and use it as a form of a bus or transport that they use on the sky to travel because i see in movies they use brooms for traveling but it is believed in our culture that people use bread they they make it a form of a car and then they get inside the bread and they sit there and they sit there naked and and then they go around using bread so if you don't want them to come to your house and take your bread for that you need to make sure that you before you go to bed if you're not planning on eating that bread that night you need to cut it in the middle cut it in half so that they don't use your bread because if it's cut the, the witches won't be able to use your bread for transport going up and around in the sky um, we also have that one and the other one um, when you when the if you feel that there's a windstorm coming or a hurricane it is believed that um, you need to go outside and hit something any metal any alloy tin you need to hit on anything that makes sound that's metallic hit it we can hit it with a stone you can hit it with a um, with a stick you need to hit it very hard so that it makes a lot of noise and when it makes a lot of noise you have to shout and yell as well you have to say embo hitting it keep hitting it embo keep hitting it i have no idea what that means but i think it says the 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 the, the windstorm should go back to where it came from but i don't know the proper translation to english but we say embo kwamialwana so that the windstorm or the hurricane can back go back to wherever it came from so there's that one as well so um there's another one if your hand is itchy like the palm of your hand is very itchy that means you're going to get money there's money coming your way because your the palm of your hand is itchy and if the the, the palm is this called the palm the palm of your feet is itchy i don't know the, the nah, this part of your feet is itchy that means you are about to go somewhere um like if you were staying at home for a very long time that means you're about to take a journey you're about to go somewhere and if you were going around like in your town or in your city that means you're about to take a, a longer journey you're going to go somewhere else you're going somewhere because your feet is itchy um and if your eye twitches like this that means you're about to see someone you haven't seen in a very long time and if your ear is like itchy and then you take an earbud and then you keep cleaning it but it's still itchy nothing is happening that means there are people somewhere somehow talking about you they are gossiping about you so that's what it means um sometimes people would be like where's the ear but no which means why is my ear so itchy this there are people who are in a deep 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 deep, deep conversation about my name like what's happening so there's that um we also have the other one if a kid you know just, just a small baby they keep going to the door and pretending to be knocking and be like go, 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 Malweni. they're like knock 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 hello a child pretending to be a guest or something like that 
or if a child keeps gudunusa what is gudunusa in english if the child keeps bending like they are about to pick something up but they are bum is facing the door that means there are visitors coming so if a child is acting like a guest constantly knocking on the door and then you take the child away from the door but then they keep going back again pretending to be knocking that means you have visitors coming and if the do- the child is dunusing the child is pretending to be like picking something up but they're behind facing the door that means you have visitors coming so a lot of people like hey 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 kanim tatan ban kanim susan de pangwen kanim susan kan san asuni nduen we tina which means to remove the child take them away from the door we do not want any visitors at the current moment so that's what it means and um the other one if you spill sugar accidentally spill sugar that there are good, that means there are good news coming your way and if you accidentally spill salt that means bad news are coming your way and another one if you are eating and then the spoon falls on the ground um that means there is someone coming to your house and that person who's coming is hungry So you should probably prepare food for them because there's someone who's coming to your house and they're hungry. They want to eat. And um another one, if there's food on the floor, you're not allowed to step on that food. Why? Because you are calling poverty upon yourself. And I'm sure you don't want to experience poverty, so never step on food because that means you are calling poverty upon yourself and loved ones and another one if you are sweeping and then there's a coin on the ground never sweep a coin or never sweep on top of the coin because that means you are calling poverty upon yourself um so yeah and i keep doing this let's just talk about pointing um also me like it is also believed that you are not to allowed to point um at a grave point like this Mm-mm, you don't do that you don't point at a grave because you are calling for death upon your loved ones so never point at a grave like this so how do you point at a grave you point at a grave using your fist there it is you make a fist and then point at a grave using your fist and never your finger and then speaking of pointing the chicken um speaking of pointing you were not allowed to point um to heaven using your finger that means you are being disrespectful to Jesus or you're being disrespectful to God so whenever you're pointing a zulwini which is heaven you had to point like this when you're pointing in heaven or when you're pointing is ulwini you had to point like this because when you're using your finger you're being disrespectful to Jesus you're being disrespectful to God so you don't do that and also speaking of pointing um you we also not allowed to point at your elders like this for example if you're walking in town or you're going to the mall and then you're walking with your mother or father or something like that and then they are looking for someone and then that one person is your elder you can't say when they're asking where is so and so you can't say there they are no 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 you don't do that because that is disrespectful you are supposed to say there they are you're supposed to use your entire hand where they where are they there they are just use your hand and never your finger you don't do that and um, i don't know if this is relaxing but you guys wanted to hear it so i'm giving it to you um uh which one oh like when it comes to dreams if you dream of 
feces, that means someone is pregnant. There's someone that you know, there's someone in the family who's pregnant if you dream of feces. And also pregnancy is when someone dreams of like um, beautiful green veggies, like looking all, you know, juicy and all sorts of things. So if someone dreams of those veggies, that means there's somebody in the family who's pregnant. And um, also if you dream of dogs barking or if you dream of uh, a snake, that means there's an enemy planning to sabotage you. You know, an enemy is cooking up something or it could mean that there is someone who's very, very close to you who is going to um, to turn against you who, um, yeah, they are not really a friend. So yeah, that's what it means. And um, what else? Um, um, you're not allowed to stay in front of the door because that means um, you you are calling upon thunder and lightning. So if you stand on a door, there's going to be thunder and lightning later that day. So you're not allowed to just stand in front of a door. Uh -uh, you don't do that and speaking of thunder and lightning whenever there's thunder and lightning in our culture it is believed that you need to take cloths and cover all the mirrors you know you just need to cover all the mirrors and you also need um, to cover anything that's shiny and any sort of jewelry or you know anything that's that's shiny you need to cover it and after covering all those things inside the house you need to switch off the television you need to switch off anything and then if you were sleeping you need to wake up and then you need to sit and you don't sit on a chair you need to sit on the floor because your your your, your feet are not supposed to be sitting like this you were supposed to be sitting like this so you can sit on the floor with your legs straight like this so um, it's believed that you do that and you're not allowed to say anything you're supposed to keep quiet the entire time Uzole. which means whenever it's 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 raining there's thunder and lightning you need to just sit there keep quiet not do anything don't don't mm -mm. don't don't show your teeth keep quiet if you're showing your teeth that means you're gonna get struck by lightning don't show your teeth so just be like this and sit the entire time and then if you were sleeping they would wake you up the elders be like hey hey wake up kuyandila kuyandila fuka 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 what that means is that there's thunder and lightning outside wake up and sit up straight you can't be sleeping when there's thunder and lightning mm -mm. How, how dare you do that um so there's that as well and um right. when you are wearing something like a t-shirt or a dress and then you you accidentally put the back on the front and then the front at the back that means you're about to experience bad luck sorry bad luck is coming your way but if you are wearing something and then you wear it inside out that means good luck is coming your way so get excited because you're about to experience good luck if you do that accidentally of course maybe i could be wrong maybe wearing it inside out could be bad luck and wearing the front of the back could be good luck but i'm not sure which one is which but there is good luck and bad luck associated with the front at the back and the back at the front as well as wearing your you know your clothes inside out accidentally so yeah and the other one is that you were not allowed to go out at night past 12 midnight 
because that's when the witches operate that's when they're busy in the sky and doing all those shenanigans and when that happens at night all the people who have been killed by the witches are actually they actually come back to life at night and they are called impundulu or they are called uh, or like the dead people on the grave they come back to life and um the ghosts are called ispoho so the ghosts come back to life past midnight and you're not allowed to go out at night and if you see ispoho actually at night it looks like a skeleton that is shiny like with fire on it so if you go out at night and you see ispoho don't make eye contact with it don't just just look on the ground and continue going because if you make eye contact with it you will be able you 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 will be spending the rest of the night with it what that means is that wherever it's going you have to go with it so when you're going with it it it, it wants to hold you by its hand and because it is made out of fire that means your hand will look like it's burnt by the time morning comes because you are walking with a skeleton is poor the entire night and it is believed that it will tell you let us go and then you're like uh uh-uh, uh i don't want to go with you and then if you say you don't want to go with it it will slap you and your entire face will have like a palm a bent palm because it's made out of fire so you will have that that thing on your face whereby it was slapping you and and so if you don't want to have that thing just obey it if it tells you let's go somewhere you need to go with it wherever it tells you to go you go and if you are tired never say you are tired because you will be walking all night long and then when 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 it's getting no light in the morning the the spoho will disappear so the ghost will go away so the entire night you have to keep walking and then if you like i'm tired it would be like what did you just say you're tired and then so and you don't want that to happen or if you're walking and then you're getting tired and you don't want to say you're tired you just keep walking slowly it will be like hey let's walk faster faster and then you have to keep walking faster because you have to obey it to avoid being slapped by it so never go out at night otherwise was a bonus and you don't want to see that and also if you are walking at night and 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 and, and, and or maybe you hear a sound and then you're trying to turn back and bonim pondulu which is like a person who was killed by the witches but that's not really dead comes out and then they come out at night and then you turn or like there's a noise outside and then you look outside the window at night like with your neck turning your neck will stay like that for the rest of your life so like even if you want it to come back it's not gonna go back to like to like this so you'll be walking like this the entire time because you were turning and then you saw impundulu you know what i mean like so so yeah and then there's this one oh 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 it's called highway sheila highway sheila well there was a girl a young lady an indian south african young lady and she was driving at night and as she was driving at night her car broke down and she was driving on the N- N2 road and people who stay around the N2 road they know of Highway Sheila so she was driving on the N2 road and as she was driving on the N2 road her car broke down when her car broke down she got out of, out of the car and it was at night and she was busy like trying to stop the cars so that they can help her with her car that actually broke down but because it's at night no one wanted to stop for her so no one did up until a car that was full of men dra- drove by and then they they saw her and then they stopped but instead of helping her 
they actually sexually assaulted her and then they killed her so now the ghost of sheila lives on the n2 highway and then it's just at night past 12 you will see a girl who is wearing a white dress that's blowing on the wind even even if it's not windy outside there's that girl it's windy and then the wind is just blowing on her dress and then she's like trying to be like that she's hitchhiking so that you can stop for her and so her ghost is like that and you not in any way shape or form allowed to stop when you see highway sheila because she will torment you if you do stop for her you know because she wants revenge don't stop for her you have to just keep on driving so one time there was this man who saw highway sheila and then he was like oh my gosh the poor girl and then he gave her the lift and then when Hi highway sheila was inside the car the temperatures went down and then it got cold inside the car and then the man was like oh my goodness are you are you cold she are you cold sheila and then he took off his jacket and gave his jacket to sheila so she can use his jacket he was just being a gentleman you know and i wish sheila used jacket and then the man drove sheila to her house and then and then sheila when sheila got off she was like here's your jacket and then the man was like no don't worry you can keep it i'll come get it in the morning so sheila went inside the house with the man's jacket and then the following day the man came by and then knocked well, when, where's highway sheila i'm sorry highway sheila hello i'm here for sheila she she borrowed my jacket last night because she was cold so i gave it to her and i told her i'm gonna come get it today in the morning and the lady who answered the door was like i'm sorry did you just say sheila i don't know sheila died a couple of years back she yeah she did stay here but she died a couple of years back so she's no longer with us the man did not believe the lady he was like you just played with me i was on the sh i was with i was with sheila on the car last night so there's no way sheila's dead so i want my jacket with sheila the chickens i want my jacket with sheila and then the lady was like okay cool there's sheila's grave you can go over there and then you're gonna see on you know it's sheila passed away he, okay and then when the man went to the graveyard he really saw sheila's grave and on top of sheila's grave was that man's jacket that's scary that was scary so the entire time that man was on the car with the ghost of sheila but thankfully she did not do anything to him because he was kind and sweet and he was being a gentleman the entire time okay um should i do one last one or should i stay end it with highway sheila let me just do a bonus one Ooh, the bonus one is is Dokoloshe. Dokoloshe. Well, there are people who go to the police station and report Dokoloshe incidences. And those cases are taken seriously. So I don't know how the Dokoloshe story, like, I don't know. But Dokoloshe is an ugly creature that kind of looks like a human being, but it's ugly and it's also short. If I were to describe it, I would say it looks like know that creature from the lord of the rings the one with no hands kind of like that it kind of looks like that creature but it is it is bigger in size Dokoloshe. and Dokoloshe can become invisible just like that and witches work with Dokoloshe. so a witch would have Dokoloshe and then the witch would tell Dokoloshe Dokoloshe at night past midnight you should go to that house and strangle that person and then someone would be strangled by Dokoloshe and then they would be crying and then unfortunately they would die
because they were strangled by Dokoloshe that was sent by a witch and then now what I want to tell you is that you know when it's daytime and like the weather's great but then there's just that one wind that's going around in circles in circles and when you look on the ground like there's a circle like it goes like this I don't know what it's called in English but in Kosa we call it Isichingi Chane that wind is associated with the forces of evil the forces of darkness so if you see Isichingi Chane that means inside us that Isichingi Chane is Udokoloshe but during daytime Udokoloshe is invisible and that Udokoloshe is being sent by a witch to come to your house and check the surroundings check you know to keep an eye on you so the only way to get rid of that Dokoloshe is through prayer because Dokoloshe cannot stand the name of Jesus so you have to pray to Jesus to chase that Dokoloshe away and then it will go away but it gets tricky when or if you see that thing and then you take salt and then you throw it inside that thing then the Dokoloshe will become visible but the Dokoloshe is only invisible to the person who threw the salt other people won't be able to see Dokoloshe but the person who threw the salt will see Dokoloshe what's scary is that now that will be your Dokoloshe that will be your responsibility you have to look after Dokoloshe and Dokoloshe is demanding Dokoloshe wants you to do evil things for for them they will tell you go do this thing and if you don't want to do that thing and you say no to Dokoloshe Dokoloshe has strength Dokoloshe is power it will <coughs> bait you up until you say yes because it wants that thing done so if you don't want a Dokoloshe never throw salt just pray because Dokoloshe will come and ruin your life that's scary that's scary that's scary are you scared are you scared are you scared are you scared hopefully that was not very scary um but those are the superstitions or urban legends that we have in south africa or in the closer culture as well so if you are south african and or african or in uh, any other country and you've heard of the superstitions in your culture as well please do let me know um i'm just curious so that is it you guys for today's video and also if you are Kosa or you are south african you know other famous superstitions that i did not get to mention you can also comment them down below so others can see those superstitions or maybe i can no i'm not gonna make it part two of this i'm sorry so yeah that is it you guys i will see you guys next time it's not too lali kakuli, but we don't want that to happen. Ulali kakuli, upole kakuli, uzola kakuli. No go by Ndoni, Nandoni, Nandoni, Oyenzayo, Oyenze kakuli. And what that means is good night, sleep tight, sweet dreams, and whatever it is that you do, I hope that you flourish. Dogbona kutresha, Elizayo, I. We'll see you next time.